This is part 30 of Blazor tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to retrieve data from a database table and then bind that data to a drop down list. Let's understand this with an example. At the moment, within our database, we've got two tables, departments and employees. Within this departments table, we have the list of all departments and in the employees table, we have the list of all employees. And if we take a look at this employee, Sarah, her department ID is three. Three is payroll. So now when we click edit on Sarah, we have department dropdown list and notice by default on the initial form load, her department payroll is selected. And when we drop this down, we can see the list of all departments from our departments database table. Now, if we change the selection from payroll to ID, we want this new selected value to be automatically bound to the respective property in our component class. So we kind of want two-way data binding. On the initial form load, we want to display her department. And then if we change the selection back, we want this value to be bound to the respective property within our component class. This is the same project we've been working with so far in this video series. At the moment, as you can see within our solution, we've got three projects and it is this REST API project that is responsible for retrieving data from the underlying database. And with this project, we have this department repository that is responsible for retrieving data from the department's database table. We implemented this repository in our previous videos in this series. In the interest of time, what I've done is made a small change to this interface and that is make these methods return a task because these are database operations and we want them to be executed asynchronously. That's the reason I made these two methods return a task. And when we change the interface, we have to change the corresponding implementation class as well. And that implementation class is this department repository class. Notice it implements the interface I department repository. And we have made the corresponding change for both these methods. Get department is now an async method and it returns a task of department and get departments returns the list of all departments. So this method is also async and it returns a task of I enumerable of department. Now, if we take a look at the solution explorer, notice within the controllers folder of our API project, we have employees controller. This is the REST API controller and we implemented it in our previous videos in this series. And this controller returns employee data. So if we navigate to this URI slash API slash employees, we see the list of all employees. Now, Again, in the interest of time, I have implemented this departments controller. This is going to return departments data. And the implementation of this controller is very similar to employees controller. Employees controller returns employee data and departments controller returns department data. So if we take a look at this departments controller, it has got two methods. Get departments, as the name implies, is going to return us the list of all departments and get department is going to return a specific department that is department by ID. And the URI to get to this controller is slash API slash the name of the controller. The name of the controller here is departments. So now if we navigate to slash API slash departments, we see the complete list of departments. So this is the API endpoint that we are going to use to retrieve data for the department dropdown list. Our next step is to call this department's REST API endpoint from our Blazor Web project. Now, there's nothing stopping us to call this endpoint directly from a Blazor component. But remember, it's always a good practice to create a separate service for that. If you recollect from our previous videos in this series, notice in our Blazor web project, we have got services folder and within this folder, we have this employee service. We created this service in our previous videos in this series. And this service calls the employees REST API endpoint. In the interest of time, I've created this department service. This is very similar to employee service. The only difference is it calls the department's REST API endpoint. So if we take a look at the interface, we've got two methods and here is the implementation. Get departments 
calls api slash departments which is going to return us the list of all departments get department returns a department by id so in the uri we also pass the id our next step is to register this service with the asp.net core dependency injection container and we do that in startup.cs file in the configure services method we registered department service just like the employee service our next step is to inject this service into our edit employee component because that's where we need the department drop down list and edit employee component is in the pages folder this line right here injects the department service and this department's property holds the list of departments this is the property our select list on the ui will bind to we'll see that in action in just a bit our next step is obviously to initialize this property with the list of departments and we do that in on initialized async method so departments equals department service dot get departments our next step is to bind to this property in the view so let's open edit component raise file just below this email field let's include department what we have here is standard HTML and some bootstrap classes nothing really specific to blazor we have this label here that displays department and inside this div let's include the select element for select element in blazor we use input select component let's set the ID to department for two-way data binding we use bind value attribute employees department ID is present in the employee object department ID property for styling we are using bootstrap form control class the list of options for this select element are going to come from this department's property within our component class so let's use a for each loop and loop through each department in the department's collection property as we are looping through for each department we are creating a select option the value for the option is the department id and the display text is the department name so with all these changes in place let's run our project and see what we have got so far we are on the home page let's click edit on one of the employees we know sarah's department is payroll so notice on the initial page load we see the payroll department is selected and when i drop this down we see the complete list of departments now notice when i change the department we have an exception let's launch browser developer tools invalid operation exception input select does not support the type system dot in 32 the reason we have this exception is because we are binding our select element to department ID property on the employee object and notice from the IntelliSense its type is integer. Binding a select element to an integer is not supported. So to fix this within our component class, let me create another property. Name is department ID and the data type is string. So within this on initialize async method, within the string department ID property, let's store the employee's department ID. Let's convert this to a string using two string method. And then in the view, let's bind to this string property. Save all the changes and let's take one final look at the browser. Let's click edit on one of the employees. Sam's department is HR. So on the initial page load, we see that. And now if we change the selection to a new department, notice we no longer have that exception. And remember this bind value attribute provides two-way data binding. This means this newly selected department value is automatically stored in this department ID property. We'll see this in action in our upcoming videos when we actually save this edited data in the underlying database table. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.